I have here a Malibu camper van. My first ever camper van was a Malibu. This is a 640 LE and uh, give you some of the details of it. It's going to cost nearly 80,000 euros and it's 630 centimeters long. Uh, but what's the empty weight? Uh, well, it could be even 3,082. Uh, well, that would give 400 kilos or more than. Uh, sorry, it would give more than 400 kilos of payload. So, what's it got? It's got at the back an enormous double bed. So, that's that. And uh, now, one clever thing here is that most companies do the lockers hanging out, and this one doesn't going back in. Well, I suppose that'll stop things falling out. I've never seen the point of having a ledge like this. It just gets in the way. Uh, I suppose place to keep your spare keys and things of this nature. What this has though, in a camper van, it's a motorhome feature. Under here, we've got access to a very large wardrobe. Bear in mind that this is a camper van. Look how big it is. I mean, there's mo motorhomes that have nothing uh, that size. Really good feature, very nice. Uh, notice how the, the bed as well is divided up into various mattresses. So if you want, you can lift it up and you can use the space for something else. But I'll show that from the back. It'll be more visible from there. Right, coming in here into the washroom. Uh, right, uh, it's got this toilet that slides in and out and I haven't done any complaints from Malibu yet, but I have my doubts of how, how practical that really is. Uh, it does of course give more space and hiding the toilet under the bed isn't a bad idea, but I wouldn't want it to sort of get stuck, particularly if it was stuck under, under the bed. And I know we have to save space as much as possible. We have to create space. But uh, that, I feel, is uh, is unnecessary. Like, you can see how much space there is. I'm standing up, standing up. Right, and I've got my shoes on. So, the space in here. Note how this sensible sliding door slides around. Gives a lot of space down here. Of course, there'd be less space if the toilet were fixed. Here we've got the fridge. You can open it up from this side and get into the fridge whilst you're in bed. And you can open it from this side whilst you're in the kitchen. Below the fridge, we have storage and additional hanging space. Either This van really does spoil people on storage. Two burners, the sink with a bottle in. I just put the bottle in there because it was on the floor when I came in. And uh, and uh, a relatively good table size and wise. And storage up here in the bulwark. Normally, I don't like it the storage up here in the bulwark, but I suppose you can put something up there. Uh, it does come with the option of having extra bed here, but bear in mind, it's got an option for an extra bed. You've got to carry it. Get an inflatable mattress, as I have said in other videos. Looking down here, so you've got the step up to the bed, you can store things in that step. You've got an extension here, uh, you've got a skylight up there yeah i quite like this vehicle this one's on a fiat and it's a manual fiat will come out mosquitiera and come down to the back so you got stack of space here as with all camper vans see you can usually you can move things around these these bar, these bars supports here will come out if necessary and you can carry large boxes or something uh, if you don't want to use the bed two gas uh, canisters the largest ones will go in there lashing straps on the floor and uh, warning there 
maximum 160 degrees to take it out. I think that's probably blocked, but if you can't take it out any further, that, okay, that's 90 at present. Oh, in fact, that's even blocked, and I don't blame them for doing that. <laughs> uh, it, it's blocked for the event uh, because people sort of mess around with things. Note also these uh, uh, nautical um, windows. Thinking close, in close. Anyway, you opened up from the size well, and you've got the mosquito net. That's a uh, people might like that, or they might not. I think that's a really good camper van though. Um, to my way of thinking, it's a, it's got so much storage in it. That's a really comfortable vehicle to use. Admittedly mine wasn't anything like this in size. And um, if it had, a, had been, I'd still be driving it now. Of that I'm sure, uh, all these years later. Yeah, I'll just whilst, Whilst I'm here, let's just nip into a couple others just to show you what they look like. This is a six meter van, there's only 640 ones. Yeah, here's one. And uh, we'll have a look in here. 640 LE GT Skyview. Uh, so there is this option of this divider, and I've had that since 2019. And uh, so here, you see the mattresses are laid out in a different facet fa way and uh, we'll come inside now sky view because it's got this panoramic uh, light up there okay the style's different but the, it looks the same here I said the mattresses were different sorry they're, they're exactly the same sorry sorry <laughs> I thought there was just one piece and uh, also you can get in here as well as you can with the other toilet the same and kitchen the same so what differs this out is by having at the front the additional uh, skylight up there I prefer this one but the other one's good as well and uh, good so anyway so there you go Malibu camper van 640 LE very attractive vehicle in my opinion so uh, anyway so if you're interested there's a lot more vehicles on this channel you can see Malibu through the ages well at least as far back as 12 2012 you can anyway oh I suppose you could see from 1992 if you include my vehicle which is also uh, here or my former vehicle that now lives in Gibraltar all the best from me in Germany thanks for watching